from Xavier's and we are doing the experiment of prism whose aim is to find the refracting index of prism. Materials required are a prism, some pins, pencil, protractor and a scale. The procedure we are going to follow is take a prism, place it on the white chart in such a way that its triangular base is on the white chart. Draw the outline of prism using a pencil. Remove the prism. It is an equilateral triangle. Name its vertices as P, Q and R. The angle between PQ and PR is angle of prism and it is denoted by A. Mark a point M on the side PQ. Draw a perpendicular to the, to the M using a protractor which is right angle. it becomes the normal to that surface. Place the protractor along the normal and mark an angle of 60 degrees. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Draw a line up to M. This line denotes the incident ray Draw a small arrow on it Now the angle between normal and incident ray is angle of incidence which is denoted by I1 Fix two pins vertically on incident ray and mark the points A and B. Place the prism again on its position. Now look for the images of pins. Fix two pins. In such a way that all four pins lie in a same straight line. Remove the prism. Take out the pins. Draw a line joining the pinholes formed by the pins. Mark the points at pinholes as C and D. Now, this is an em emergent ray which emerges from surface PR at N. Place the protractor at N. Draw a perpendicular which is 90 degrees. This becomes normal to that surface. The angle between emergent ray and normal is an angle of emergence which is denoted by I2. Join MN.
विच शोज द पाथ ऑफ लाइट सफरिंग थ्रू द प्रिजम नाउ एक्सटेंड इंसिडेंट रे फॉरवर्ड इमर्जेंट रे बैकवर्ड टिल द मीटेड पॉइंट ओ ओ द एंगल बिटवीन टू रेस इज एंगल ऑफ डिविएशन विच इज डिनोटेड बाई डी we can prove this experiment correct by using laser light which is which incidence on pq surface and emergence from the surface pr on emergent ray